And I think one of the things that the county has to be has to do, and I, and I know that has been an effort to do that, is to set, have the same regulations the city has, so that they have implement they can implement some of the of the standards that the city has right now. The county has some restrictions on that. They're, they're not allowed to have some of the, the same restrictions that the cities have. But I think there has to be some enforcement and support but not only the county commissioners, but also the other elected officials and the state representatives and our senators, that that has to change because the people that ultimately will suffer are the, the low-income people, given the colonias that do not have the funding in the first place to afford a house, and then they get ripped off. I think we need to support them, we need to help them, we need to push for legislation to change what is happening right now. I believe that where the colonias are taking advantage of is with the, uh, the restrictions we have for subdivisions outside the cities. Inside the cities, subdivisions are heavily regulated with drainage, with water, with sewer necessities, and in the, in the county, it seems to be so much more lax. And what happens is when the city grows and becomes more, the rural area becomes more part of the city, the cities have to inherit those types of subdivisions. And the, and the needs for those people are, are tremendous. They need more drainage, they need better lighting, they need better water. I think what we need to do is, is have better restrictions at the county level. You know, the state has uh, their own laws, and the county has their own laws. The county is regulated by the state in terms of ordinances. The county doesn't have any ordinance power. <coughs> But the problem to the Colonia was created back in the 70s and 80s. The last 14 years, Hidalgo County has done a tremendous job in painting the Colonia problem. For chapter 32, we get over 14 Colonia that we can improve by improving the roads, providing drainage. Better, and we don't have the same kind of problem. Now we have developers that come in and take advantage of people. This is a development. What I said earlier was we need to look at having more restrictions for those developers so that if these problems don't happen in the first place, it's hard to correct the problems once they occur, but I can tell you one thing that it, if I have money in my precinct account, I will use the money for the colonias. I will not save the money. What I'll do is be able to look for ways to get either county funding, state funding, or federal funding, and I'll levy the precinct dollars to bring in more improvements to the colonias, to improve the drainage, to fight for every dollar that's supposed to go to drainage instead of using it in, in different places. Um, there's a huge need in the colonias. Uh, you know, the, these storms seem to be happening more and more, and so we need to find every possible way to improve the system before it gets worse. We have the best drainage that we have had in the past years. Now, we don't hurt the money. We work with the state, with the Fed, and local, and we utilize the money the best way possible. All you have to do is drive around preaching too, and you can see all of the improvements that have taken place in drainage and growing improvements. It's evident just by driving to preaching too. The mayor of the city of Faro was a member of the Lower River Grande Valley Development Council. In that, in that council, you, you work with all the cities to try to work on regional projects that you have, including drainage. And I, one of the things that I can plan to do, if, like the county commissioner, is to be again a member of the Lower River Grande Development, Development Council and look at our strategic plan that we have and, and a comprehensive plan if it's already there to update it. And of course, address some of the needs that are out there in our district. But Rio Grande Valley Development Council is an area where you can work with all the communities, address their needs, and be able to help them Especially, there's problems in these colonias, and I know that there's some areas that have been improved, and I know that there's some areas that we still need to work on. But it's something that's an ongoing thing that we need to work on, and I know that that's, that's an area where we can work 
and regionalize uh, the projects and be able to support them. I believe that if we need more judges, we should be requesting more judges. I mean, it is a, our, our valley is growing tremendously. We have a great uh, growth as far as our population is concerned. And I know that there's a new court that just opened. But if we need to have more courts to be able to handle the, the uh, cases that we have in Yellow County, then we should support that. Um, I think as a, as a boss or somebody that is responsible for a budget, you need to give your you need to give the correct tools to your employees and if it's if there's a if there's not enough courts then you ask for more courts. Uh, at the county level, we probably have a lot of services that, that are done uh, redundantly. There's different departments doing the same thing over and over again. So we need to find inefficiencies and increase uh, levels of support, whether it's at the court level or at the, at the county clerk level or whatever level. We just need to run more efficiently for the taxpayer. We have grown from two county court law judges 15, 20 years ago. Now we have eight new board county court law. <coughs> and we have eight district judges. It's not a matter of just asking for it that we can request it. Just maybe the one that has to approve the number of boards, but the state needs to approve them. Each of the boards they set up will run you anywhere between uh, half a million to seven hundred thousand to set up and operate. And this country is growing and we can more than triple the number of judges. I believe that uh, my experience as a mayor for the city of Park for four years and commissioner for eight years, administrative director of the Lap and Nap Medical Center for 25 years, where I managed a budget three times the size of budget of Precinct 2, and graduate from Pan American University and worked with Texas Medical Branch School of Public Health Sciences. And I think it's, it's, it's experience, the knowledge, my education, all that combination qualifies me to be uh, the next county commissioner for Precinct 2. One of the things that I think uh, I have that none of the other candidates have is I have the experience of having worked in the healthcare field. And being that we're going to have a medical school here in the valley, I think it's important that we somebody in the county that has that experience. I think experience is important, but I think the type of experience, the quality of the experience is the most important. If you look to see what I've done in the last five and a half years in the city of FAR, the improvements that have been made at the city of FAR level, I think that those types of improvements can be made in Precinct 2. I, I think when you see the 14 years of me practicing law, the last seven years in the construction and development business, the type of community projects that I brought to the city. When you look at the New Boys and Girls Club, there was a three and a half million dollar project. I think when you talk about that type of resume, that's the type of person you want in the selected office. Now, I've served 15 years since you got it from Mr. Pritchett too. I've served three years to mayor in City of San Juan. I've served nine years to be a school board. I've served three years uh, uh, another board in Edinburgh, Education Regional uh, Board. You combine all of that experience and you combine them all the improvements that can be done, not by talking about them, not by mentioning, I want to do a lot. This can be done over and over. No echo. A ver si puedo, si no, porque puedo ver. <coughs> Miren, I'm not telling you what I want to do. I can already am doing it, I've done it, you can see it, and it shows.